Oh, getting pretty epic up in here. Not even really going to bother with settler items anymore, I don't think. I think I'm good. This is right. Yeah, okay. It's marked clearly on the map that this is where I need to go. So, yes. Oh, let's listen to this. No more delays than necessary. I have recently become concerned with Mekavorian's state of mind. With the completion of these technological laboratories, he spends more and more of his time deep underground, whispering to himself about his technological creations and even more advanced future designs. He can often be found in this augmentation complex. On more than one occasion, I have heard him speaking to the augmented subjects as if they were his pets. Hmm. Greetings. You have a report. Oh, enter the Flagrant Labs. Is this a, like an instance or anything? I, I hope not. I don't think so. I think it would have told me. Welcome to the Phage Labs, Sapient. In centuries prior, a species like yours would have only seen this place from inside a stasis chamber. Fear not. Against the odds, we will find a way to advance. Advance. Orion has released airborne biophage throughout the facility. If you activate Exite Lanterns, you, this should counteract the corruption's effect. Beware of uh, unexpected variables. Huh. <laughs> Goddamn unexpected variables. They're the wild cards. They're great to have around for a party, but goddamn, they're so unreliable. Oh, looks like those were quest items. Did that start a quest? It did. I'm actually surprised I paid attention. The creatures in the phage labs have obviously been overcome by the biophage. The caretaker must be interested in analyzing samples of the disease. <coughs> Excuse me, I was going to see if I had any other quest marker type items. Nope, or quest starter. Since it's been contaminated with a strain, prolonged exposure may lead to corruption, but the air is not tainted enough to something. Not tainted enough to transform you. Oh, okay. And it's not just because you're a robot. Data. The phage lads are overrun by corrupted Kenamid, while Vorian, Vorian has activated Elden Constructs to hunt you down. Destroy these threats at once. Don't Can mind if I do. I've seen you kill. You're quite good at it. Oh, for fuck's sake. It has been exactly one hour since something has sprayed ink all over your eyeballs. I don't know if I'm going to bother with that challenge or not. Probably not. What's this? Ah, oh, the lanterns. As predicted, the properties of exanite Ex will counteract the effects, effects of corruption. Get close to the exanite whenever you feel the corruption taking hold. Ah, oh, okay. Good. Oh, without getting blinded. Oh, okay. They die like immediately. All right. Depraved Rotten Claw. I forget why we're killing these, but. Oh, destroy the cannon. I don't know why they're not hostile either. I mean, I probably shouldn't be looking a gift horse in the mouth, but. Oh, the sentries die easy. There we go. The Prayed Vile Tooth. Do I have a meter that shows me how corrupted I am? Because they're not seeing it. Because normally if you have like the, the meter that says, you know, you're getting overwhelmed by the gases or whatever. Damn, get some. Yeah, I thought they aggroed. Nope, don't bother. Destroy these incredibly weak sentries. Aggro them. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this challenge. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. Though I do like to try to avoid being blinded. That's always good. Damn it. Do more damage, you fix. Might as well. 
Oh, okay. I guess it's a visual thing. Because, like, yeah, I've got, like, the corruption all over me. Let's see if it, like, goes away. Yeah, there's a corruption corruption amateur. Oh, you show early signs of corruption. Stay near Xenet to wear out the effects. Okay. So I guess now instead of a bar, it's a buff. Or a debuff, rather. Oh, here it is. Has that been there the whole time? Alright, go ahead and keep keep detoxing. I <laughs> got detoxing. Alright, might as well kill these. Oh, it wasn't uh, they weren't attacking because I was corrupted. Ah, I see. Clever. Double kill. Clever girl. Hopefully those things don't drop. That would suck. Like the the little things. Like after a while they just go away. God, kill these stupid fucking sentries. They have like no life. Go ahead and build this one. Is that heal too? No. That'd be too convenient. Alright, break down to 1%. Yeah, I keep looking for the big bar up there. Obviously, it's not there. Let's kill this thing. Punch them up. Throw them away while we sit right next to this. This way we're getting cleaned while we... It cleans while you condition or whatever. Oh, so we finished a quest. I have little need for the samples you collected. In fact, you have risked your health by doing so. Biophage is dangerous on the best of days. Ah, well, you know. It's a thought that counts. Alright, so we gain some energy, lose brutality and finesse, gain tack and insight. Nope. Lose brutality, lose finesse, gain moxie and health. Nope. Lose brutality, gain a little finesse and a little tack and some health. Nope. Lose brutality, lose finesse. Nope. Do any of these sell worth a decent? Nope. They do not. Uh, we will pick this one. I suggest you destroy the samples at once. I cannot afford to lose you. On second thought, I hypothesize the additional exposure to biophage by strain corrupted creatures may have destructive results. Put it to the test. Throw biophage samples at corrupted creatures. How about annoying ass centuries? That respawn quickly but die. Super easy. How about those? Oh, okay. This is one of those targeting things. Yeah. They seriously, like, run as I do it so it missed them? Awesome. Awesome. Alright, get this built. Destroy these stupid ass sentries. Alright, so let's aggro these first and then throw this shit, I guess. Oh, cool. And it interrupts you. That's nice. Throw it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you run out of time. I don't really care. Alright. Ah, fuck these sentries. Um, no, no, piss off. Uh, construct. It's probably gonna be in here. Oh, God. Alright, let's light more of these lanterns. Not really lighting so much as, you know, bricking them up, but whatever. Or putting them together. Uh, so now we're getting to the... I don't know if this counts. Ugh. That's so annoying that the the cast time, or the um, animation time, actually triggers them to aggro, so they run past where you threw it in the first place. And you get interrupted when you use it. Wonderful. 
All right, so this looks like that's going to be where the robot stuff is. So we need to go back up here and finish this other quest, I think. Like throw it ahead of them a bit. Did you not even... Did I get credit for that, or is it just not until they die, maybe? Oh god, just die. Uh, nope, I just didn't get credit for it. Okay. Alright, let's just aggro them, I guess, and then just tell the pet to aggro, or the pet to aggro them. This would suck ass without a pet. Holy shit. Luckily, you don't have to do it very much. Triple kill. All right. I find it interesting that the Biophage, a substance with few redeeming qualities, can be used as a weapon against the strain. Please accept praise for this difficult achievement. Good job. Alright. Oh, whoa. Whoops. Ha, huh, secret sanctuary. Oh, nice. Shield charging booster, dodge reflex enhancer, combat speed booster, anti-corruption mark dispenser. Protects wear from corruption. Oh, not too worried about that. Uh, let's actually make a vendor because we need to sell. Shield charge, sure, why not? And let's go with the reflex booster as well. Ah, it's one of those. We have to, one of the other buffs, whatever. What is this? Star Seeker travel pack? 13, 13 bags, 13 slot bag for what, four gold? That doesn't seem too bad. Compared to what I, th I think I've seen in the Ox house. I don't know, anyway. All right, so now we need to go down here again. Let's just tear these guys up quickly so we can move on. Die sentries. Oh god, where are you guys coming from? I think I might have nicked them from the other side. Alright, let's go. Keep forgetting to keep an eye on our corruption. Oh hey, another player. He looks like a it's kind of weird bug thing, but whatever. Yep, another uh, another um, engineer. Always engineers. I don't know what the deal is. Apparently everybody and their mother wants to be an engineer. Who'd have thought? I don't know why. It doesn't seem like a class that people will go, Ah, yeah. Like, an engineer? That sounds like a perfect combat class for an MMO. But obviously a lot of people like it. Or at least, you know like the idea of it. But, I mean, if they've made it this far, most people probably actually enjoy the class as well. I just not been that been crazy about it. I just thought it was, just consider it to be kind of meh, for the most part. Come on. And just not very engineer-like. I mean, you have the bots, but other than that, it doesn't feel like your abilities and whatnot are very engineer-y. Alright, so we need to light a lot of these still. Build, light, whatever. Oh shit. You wanna you wanna kill this thing? Where'd he go? Nope, he just ran away. Nope. Alright, so you wanna go for this? Alright. Oh fuck off. Whatever that little little chomp a copper looking motherfucker was. Oh, 
time, please. Double kill. Jesus. You have findings. That was crazy. Baryon has certainly been a busy, busy buzzbang. Without the constructs and Canmid around, our attempts to confront him will be much easier. Ah, Sapient, I've been expecting you. The airborne biophage is Varian's attempt to deter intruders, but it may seep outside through a series of exhaust vents. Those vents must be destroyed. Your doom awaits. I mean, your task. Your task awaits. Huh. Oh, caretaker. So easy to see through. Both in a non-literal sense. You want to kill that thing? Thanks. Even you guys can kill those easily. It's amazing. Not to say that you guys are incredibly weak, but you guys are incredibly weak. It's not mixed words at all. And then taunt that guy. Got some hit points on him. Wow, that... that wow, he deflected! You can't deflect me. I don't want to start switching to brutality again. That's all the lanterns in here. You're still throwing me off that you call these lanterns. I don't want, do not want to hit the other big guy. I have a feeling that's how the other guy got in trouble. I don't think he meant to attack him. These things are level 49. Well, I definitely got my wish about attacking, you know, dealing with higher level mobs. I have a feeling that maybe we should have started with that other quest. This enter the fist of Ezreon? Oh well. What can you do? Diseased Slime Fang. Such lovely names. Go ahead and just get this guy out of the way. Here. You just got caught in the crossfire. Get caught in the crossfire, crossfire. Got so many random ass board games back in the 80s. I wanted like so many of them, which was pointless because I was an only child. I actually had board games as an only child, and like, I don't know if this is sad or not, but I used to play them by myself. So like I just hit 50 corruption, good timing. But yeah, I used to play like games by myself. I like try to find ways to play them. Like I try to play Go Fish with myself because even as a kid, my memory wasn't great. So I would like ask. Uh, you know, go fish, and then I'd switch hands. Yeah, it was, you do a lot of things when you're an only child, all right? I keep thinking my helmet is one of those, like, cabby hats from the, like the, you know, maybe like Victorian, no, not Victorian, but um, maybe like, 1800s London? You know what I'm talking about, right? You see what I'm kind of talking about? Like the flat top kind of mushroom top? Is this making any sense? Probably not. What? I might still get hit by that. I was pretty clearly out of that. At least by the time his animation had hit it. Another data to Nikki. Thanks. I recently had a conversation with Watcher Ionis about what can only be described as Vorian's recent descent into madness. His obsession with his recent work is obviously his way of coping with my being chosen as one of the vessels for the Genesis Prime. Still, Despite his mental instability, even I cannot find fault with his latest advances. But that is not for lack of trying. Can we truly trust such important work to an individual so clearly deranged? 